in observing a lot of the um, videos that's been sent to me, one thing I notice is that there's a lack of a starting protocol in a lot of the video. So let's just review why a starting protocol is so often so necessary. So before every patient, what we do is I get set and I give a signal to Joy that I'm set. So you'll notice I'm getting my cart ready. I'm getting my positioning ready. I'm getting my focus ready. I'm getting our team ready to start. And then when I'm ready, I give Joy a signal, which is that hand out on, on the uh, microscope. And I snap it back. And that's a signal to Joy to get her positioned ready. From another angle, you can see I'm getting ready. I'm getting focused. My cart is in the right spot. And then I put my hands out. And that tells Joy, OK, now it's ready for you to get ready. From another angle. Um, you can see how this is done. She's waiting for me to get set. She knows she doesn't get set until I'm set. Then I hold the scope, and that allows her to position herself just ideally. Then when you're both set, then it's ready to start working. So you don't actually ever start until you are both ready, positioned, and ready to work as a team and just focus on what you need to do. You can see my hand signal there. That's a signal to Joy. Then she's ready and she says, OK. Let's look at it from the superior angle. I'm focusing. I'm positioning. I put my hands out. That tells Joy, OK, now position yourself. So if you go through this routine, before every patient, you'll find that you'll work better as a team because you're both ready at the same time. So on this patient, this is actually the first patient that we had in our new office uh, giving palatal anesthesia. So I thought I'd just review this again uh, because this is, a, this is a real teamwork effort. You can't do this without both of you being on the same page. It's, it's impossible to do it well. Uh, in fact, it's a good indication of how well you work together as a team. So now that we're both ready, I'm ready to give anesthesia here on this patient. And you can see I'm giving anesthesia here, and Joy is suctioning while I am giving anesthesia. It makes it much nicer for the patient so that all of that saliva and whatnot is removed. Now I'm getting ready to give a, the, a palatal anesthesia. She freezes the cotton stuff. Notice we're both upright, completely comfortable, in natural positions. She has to defog my mirror because the uh, frozen cotton spot fogs the mirror up. So there's a lot of things that have to happen very efficiently here. That re requires complete teamwork to do this well. She's holding the, the cotton swab for me. She's looking through the scope and suctioning and defogging the mirror all at the same time. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you feel that at all on the on the roof of your mouth? I, I could feel it. The cold the was cold? for a minute. Uh -huh. Did you feel that at all on the on the roof of your mouth? I, I could feel it, the cold the was cold? for a minute, uh -huh. and then it's 
just. Did you actually feel the needle go in? I think I did, but it like didn't hurt, but I could tell there was something touching it. 